we chose uh, Christian education in Westminster specifically because we wanted our kids to have an understanding from a biblical perspective of how we are to live in this world and what we are to be and how we put everything into perspective through that lens. And it's been a great experience for us. We believe parents pay us a tuition to provide a, an education that is excellent and Christ-centered, but that Christ-centeredness really comes and begins with the teacher. And so that's why when we hire teachers, we do, we do so with a dual focus. We want someone who's excellent in what they do, but we also want someone who wants to dive into kids' lives. You know, and that means walking the halls with them. That means having a hard conversation with them. And the more you get that consistently around your hallways and in your classrooms and on your athletic fields, the more you see kids changed. We have built a Christian home where people can come to and know that not only do they have that camaraderie that comes with being a Christian, that firm belief in Jesus Christ, but they also have the fact that their child is going to get a good, solid education that they can take out into the world and do something with. Yeah, I'm fond of saying that in the Christian school we have true academic freedom. At Westminster, uh, we're able to address those basic issues of life and give them solid, absolute answers as to who they are, where they came from, why in the world they're here, and what's next. The kids just don't say, I'm a Christian. Their actions show that they are Christians. Our mission here is to produce wonderful students and wonderful citizens but we do it through Christ and we keep Him in the middle of everything we do. And I don't think that there's a way that anybody can ever say that there's, there's anything more important. Christ lives here. Christ is being taught here. Christ is being patterned here. So kids are going to follow that mantra in anything in life. You know what's great about the place is that there is a common bond. It, you know, and that's the Lord Jesus. I mean, that's what it's about for us here, and that's the peace that I think we all get. The successes that you're seeing from a pragmatic perspective flow out of the vision. We want to be excellent in all things. We want to be Christ-centered, and we want to love the kids. Everybody seems to be excited what's going on, the vision that's in place, education in Christ, and to that we want to be excellent um, in, it is, you know, in whatever it is that we do, especially if it's in the name of, of God and, and doing things uh, for Him and for His glory. To me, I just feel like my teachers care about me in a different sense than just as a student, but just kind of the way they incorporate kind of their Christian walk into teaching or coaching or kind of all that, kind of like leading by example, is really, um, I guess, kind of the discipleship aspect of it. We believe God calls us to do only the things that we can do well, and so we really focus on that. Uh, it means sometimes we, we take a year or two to develop other things to add to our option list, but um, we only will put them forth when we can provide excellent coaching or excellent teaching, great facilities, and a safe environment. And so it really, um, I, we feel it's the way God determines what we will do and what we will not do. With this vision in place and the support that the administration not only gives verbally, but also through everything that they do to help us be able to facilitate what they've called and asked us to do. Um, it, it, it's just a, it's a great environment and it's one that's destined for true success. The other thing I would say that you know, we openly embrace is the whole idea of teacher as a discipler and a model, a mentor. Uh, when we hire people we openly talk about that. And I really feel like over the last three years that's really what has been monumental in the, in the changes that people see in our school. We've brought in some uh, extremely good faculty who have worked hard, who have worked beyond the eight hours a day, and uh, have disciple kids. And our kids really get it. They, they are starting to lead us in many ways. I feel like I have a strong enough um, education to where I can face almost anything with the support of my family and with God. We, we believe in excellence in all things. If we hire the, the right men and women to lead these young people, then the process takes care of itself. The product will always be something that God will be pleased with and it'll be excellent. I think the more people acknowledge Christ in their daily life, and their daily walk, the easier that daily life and walk gets for everybody. And you know, that's very true here at Westminster. The thing that's wonderful is that you don't have an athletic department that has a different vision than the school and you don't have an academic 
branch or the, the foundation of the school that has a different vision than athletics. Everybody's on one page. You're looking at cute kindergartners and first graders, but we see the graduate. And it's very important that what we're doing at the elementary school is building that foundation that's eternal. I'm profoundly impressed by what we do in this school. We've got a head of school that is unsurpassed. Uh, we have other leaders throughout this school, powerful, strong, committed leaders, good Christians. We've got a terrific building, a facility that's moving in the right direction. We've got the right uh, structure and organization. Parents are involved. Um, every trend I see is, is upward momentum. When you look at it as a whole, I see the difference in that my child will be graduating here, not only having a good feeling about himself, uh, but a good stance in the world that he has a firm biblical foundation to face anything. I think that Westminster, something great is happening. Something really great is happening. I think it's an opportunity for uh, kids to come to school and learn uh, and get a great education in a Christian environment where they can put things into perspective for the rest of their life. I, I, I truly believe there's a need for schools like this. Having been in, in the public sector before, I, I believe that we can make a difference in these kids' lives. So that's, that's, what, that's what I see. And I'd love to see it just continue to grow and God be glorified each and every day. And the long range planning or the eternal planning is, is put into place. The rest will take care of itself. We're beginning to all see that uh, Westminster as an entity is so much bigger than, than a campus, than a, than a physical building, that it's about people. And that we want to be a lighthouse uh, in a dark place and provide that opportunity and reach those people who are starving or hungering for a quality Christian education. The school will always be constrained financially. That's the nature of things and we will always be financially constrained. We don't want to charge tuitions that allow us to buy new buildings. That would eliminate too many Christian families and it precludes us from doing the kind of Christ-centered work with these children that we want to do. So we've got to have a different source of revenue for buildings. We have been in this building a, less than a year and a half and we're already near, we're at capacity. We're carving out classrooms uh, and hallways and in the library. Our elementary school is completely full. We've got wait lists and grades. Uh, the BRAC move is a third complete. We've got the other two thirds coming next summer. We want our mission is to be accessible for children and Christ-centered education. In order to do that, we need more space. In order to do that, we need a capital campaign to pay for more buildings. Well, I guess when someone says capital campaign to mean, to me what they mean is stewardship. And that works both ways. It works in what you give to the school or a campaign, you're being a steward of your own blessings. So when I talk about a capital campaign, to me, it's just an emphasis on the stewardship that we're already called to have over our students and our community. This is what parenting is, is putting your kids in an environment where they can flourish, where they can learn, where they can see that kind of character demonstrated on a daily basis. And I believe that that uh, environment exists at Westminster now. There are good schools in this community. There are good public schools in this community and there are good private schools in this community. The market that we serve are Christians who want excellent academic performance for their children and they want a Christian environment. And I believe no one does that better than we do. Thank you.